Amazfit, a well-known manufacturer of smartwatches, has once again wowed the globe with two innovative new wearables designed especially for runners. The Cheetah and the Cheetah Pro watches have names that are suited for them. It seems like Amazfit is once again giving Garmin a tough time with its lineup of specs and the public's response. How effective are these new timepieces? And more importantly, what does this signify for an ordinary person? Let's find out in today's video. Both Cheetah variants of course have differences in terms specifications, while the Cheetah Pro comes with a few exclusive perks. Both watches come vanishing an HD AMOLED display with a peak brightness of 1000 nits, which makes reading the watch easy under harsh and direct sunlight. However, as you'd expect the extra perk from the Pro variant comes in the form of a 1.45 inch screen with a resolution output of 480 by 480 pixels. If we talk about the base models, it comes with a slightly smaller 1.39 inch screen with a resolution of 544 into 542 pixels. The Pro variant is also a bit lighter at 43 grams whereas the regular Cheetah variant weighs a tad bit more at 47 grams. As far as the exclusive tools go, the Cheetah Pro variant has full support for Bluetooth calling and of course, offline music playback that can be enjoyed through a connected headphone or earbuds of your choice or if you prefer the on-device speaker, though we highly doubt if anyone would use that. Straight off the bat, the most unique feature of both variants of Cheetah is that they came up with a generative AI called Zepcoach that works exactly how you'd expect it to walk. The Zepcoach creates personalized running routine based on each individual's workout schedule that the coach gets access to through the Zep mobile app. However, they are not the first manufacturer to come up with an idea like this. Huawei has done something similar before Amazfit where they added their own AI codes to their Watch GT runner. But the thing they did not implement, and what gives them a fitter solid edge, is the ability to directly have a conversation with the Zip Coach, courtesy of an AI chat tool that's with you 24 by 7 in order to answer any fitness-related questions. Amazfit assures that the conversation will make an individual feel like they are under the wings of a personal trainer all the time. However, do keep in mind that this doesn't only sound like a premium version, because it actually is, and while being available right now is a short demo period, we wouldn't be surprised if it comes up with a subscription-based service. In order to further push your workout regimen, both variants of the Cheetah comparing a highly accurate GPS deck Amazfit likes to call MaxTrack, which is able to effortlessly track the runner through varied environmental settings like skyscrapers or tall dense jingles. Using the collected data, the user can then create their very own personalized routes by directly importing the file from the Zep app onto the watch itself, should they feel like taking the same path at another run. And as an extra ability, the user can easily overlay the route on the device's offline maps to explore and navigate other potential paths that they can take nearby. Among other noteworthy features, the Cheetah lineup not only includes a heart rate tracker, but comes with the ability to share your very own running routes via a third-party app such as Google Fit. Battery life on both variants can easily last up for up to two weeks from a single charge. But as it is with smartwatches, it can be very depending on how often you're tinkering with it. With all that, it'll be very interesting to see how and when Garmin responds to the roar of the cheetah, since not one but two of the rivals have launched wearables that come rocking a personal training coach, maybe Garmin's next iteration. Would it be limited to the pro variants or does Garmin have something else entirely up its sleeves? Only time will tell and we'll be here to keep you posted as soon as we get anything. As for now, you can get the amazing Cheetah and Speedstar grade directly from the company's website for $229 where so that was the take on the Amazfit Cheetah Pro. Do you think the emergence of Cheetah put Garmin in a difficult position? What do you think Garmin will do in response? Let's make a healthy discussion in the comments section down below, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.
If you want more content like this on your feed.